Hey guys, so I was working on one POS restaurant POS application in .NET Maui. So there I had a requirement to upload and show that uploaded image in .NET Maui. Okay, so this image is not getting uploaded to the server to some API, but this image is getting uploaded to the device itself. If I'm running it on Windows desktop, then I'm picking the file from desktop. I'm uploading it inside our application and displaying that image. Same thing for Android, iOS, all the supported platforms in .NET MAUI. So I thought let's create a small video for this. Okay. So in this video, we'll see how can we select some file, some image from the device upload it into our .NET MAUI application and then display that image in our .NET MAUI application. All right. So I'm going to create a new project .NET MAUI app. So let's name it something like maybe MAUI local image pick show something. I don't know. All right. So let's create this app. It is creating. All right, so our app is here. Okay, it is on Windows machine. I have not done anything yet. Let's do this. Let's go to our main page. Dot XAML. Okay, let's re. There is this first image where we have that that dot net bot image. Then we have a label. Then another label. Then this button. Okay. Let's do this. Let's remove this button. Maybe let's remove this second label. We'll have just first label here. We'll say uh, image local image upload and show image something like this local image upload and show. Okay. All right. And then I am going to have an image here. I'll provide a name. Let's say IMG only. Let's have some height and width. So height maybe 250 and width 250. All right. And then I'm going to have a button here where I'll have a text. Let's say pick image. Let's say pick an image upload and show upload to app and show something like this okay and on this let's have horizontal options at horizontal options at center and here let's say clicked and we'll add one click handler. All right, so nothing fancy so far. We have this button clicked event. If we go here, we have this button clicked. Now from here, we are not using on counter click, so we can remove this and this count zero as well. All right, so now we have this button clicked. Here, we need to pick the image. We need to show the image picker. So Maui gives us one file picker API. Okay, we can use this. So let's create a helper method here. Here I'll say private async task. Let's say to image picker, something like this. Okay, and here we'll say a file picker dot it gives us this pick async and pick multiple async. Right now we want to just uh, pick one image and we want to display that image in this page. So we'll use pick async method. All right. Then we can provide pick options here. Okay. So let's provide pick options. So inside pick options, what we can do, we can set file types and picker title. Picker title, we can say something like Please select 
an image or anything and then we have this file types okay this is actually file types hmm. here we can say file picker file type dot png jpg so we can set what type of files we want this picker to by default show right so png jpg pdf and a lot of types but we'll use image because image it could be png jpg so we are okay with png jpg both so we'll use images all right now we have this and this pick async this gives us task of file result okay so we'll simply say var file result equals await and now we have this file result on file result we can and this is a nullable right so pick casing it gives nullable file result so here we'll say if file result is not null that means user selected the file all right now we can get the file stream from this file result okay so on this file result we have dot open read async method all right which gives us task of stream i hope you can see this let me zoom i don't know i should have changed it beforehand 130 i think it should be readable now so show image picker i'm just creating this method i have not used it yet i will use it but right now yeah so it gives us task of stream so we can store this stream so our stream equals await and file result dot open read async now we have the stream now we can save this file now will be the upload logic where we want to upload this thing okay so for this let's create a separate method here i'll say private async task i'll say upload to local or something right or let's say upload local async and we will provide file stream here stream basically we'll convert it to file stream now we have this stream and here we will simply get one path or we'll create one path where we want to save this file save this image okay so here we could say local path equals here we can get file system dot app data directory which is the recommended option to store uh, app data basically so image this is related to this current app only so we are storing this app this image inside this app data directory okay so this app data directory and then we need to generate a file name or we can get a file name so this file result it also gives us file result dot full path and file name it gives us this file name so we can use this file name if we want so here we can say string uploaded file name or just file name file name like this we can have it like this and now we just need to append this file name to this app data directory so here we'll use path dot combine file system dot app data directory and then this file name and we are good now our local path is ready now we can directly save this stream to this local path all right so here what we'll do we'll say using var fs equals new file stream okay here we need to provide path so here we have our local path 
then we can provide file mode so here we'll say file mode dot let's say read write not file access file mode dot create and let's use write create and file access dot write file mode create and file access write so that it can write this file to the system all right now we can say await fs dot copy to async stream this should be the opposite we want stream dot copy to async fs now pay attention both of these are streams file stream and this stream we want this stream which came from the file so the stream from file which image we have we are trying to upload and then this is file stream where this image is going to be saved we want stream to copy to this file stream this fs all right so now we are good now our image will be uploaded to this place all right so this is all let's say show image picture async rename this and on this button click we could say await show image picker async or we can say pick image async that would make more sense pick image async and we can rename this pick image async all right so using this we are actually uploading the image and after this we need to call this method as well so here we'll say await upload local async we need to provide file name this should be file result dot file name and then stream now we have uploaded successfully next thing is to show this uploaded image inside this image tag okay this image component this image control so we have provided x name img so we can access this img in here so we can access this img all right so on this img we can simply provide a source and it could be the path of this uploaded image so here we can simply return string and from here after uploading this image we can simply say return local path now we can access it here here we will say uploaded image path and then on this img dot source we can directly use this uploaded image path and now we are good now we can try this out so i'm running it let's hope it works fine okay app is coming here local image upload and show pick an image so pick an image let's click on this button file picker came and here if you see all files and these are just image files png jpg jpg gif bmp all image files it will show only the image files it will not show any other file okay so i mean here here i we have this image let's upload this image yeah by the way i have started taking one on one mentorship calls so you can book one on one call with me if you want so it is on this topmate.io platform the link will be in the description all right so you see we selected the image image got uploaded to the local store and then we are displaying this image here so this is how it works let's quickly try it on android if it works on android as well without any issue so let's run it okay so it is almost there app is starting up on android emulator we are good we have this button let's click on it and it is here we have these files let's select one of this file and boom this got uploaded uploaded to locally inside this app data directory for this particular app 
and then we have this image displayed here as well. All right. So this is how you can upload or add some image to upload the image to this .NET MAUI application. All right. It is not getting uploaded to the server. And if you guys want a dedicated video for how can we upload this image to some API some server. So do let me know in the comment if I got at least five comments saying that we need a video to upload for uploading this image to some external API. Okay, so I'll make a dedicated video for this one as well. Now there is one thing for all these things. What we should do, we should always wrap these in try catch block because these things can break. Okay, so we can simply say wrap this in try catch block. Okay, we can log this exception message if we want to, or least we can simply say await shell dot current dot display alert. And here we can simply display an alert. So here we'll say first is title. We'll say error in picking image. And then message, we can say ex dot message and then cancel button. So we'll say okay. And we should be good now. All right. All right. So that's all for this video. Please like this video share this video subscribe my channel i'll be back soon with some other cool video till then bye bye happy coding